Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a review for two recent um, images that have been released for the Batman v Superman movie, and these are of Joker. So yeah, one of them is the official image of Joker, um, and the first one, which is currently seen right now, cur currently seen right now, is a leaked image of Joker. So I kind of wanted to do a review for both of them. Um, I know many people are doing reviews and giving their thoughts on the on the other, you know, the one where he's all tattooed and stuff, which we'll see later. But I also wanted to give my quick thoughts on this one because um, it was actually pretty interesting in my opinion. Um, so yeah, basically in this image you see Joker. I, I know it's really blurry and it's bad quality, and I guess it's it's expected to be bad quality due to the fact that it was leaked. Um, so yeah, but just very quickly, you could see you could see here that Joker. Um, he, you can tell he has the green hair, and he's wearing this white suit, which is really reminiscent, um, of some of the Frank Miller comic books. Um, I believe he was wearing a white suit in the Dark Knight Rises, um, Dark Knight Rises story arc. Um, I'm not completely sure, don't quote me on that, but I, no, that is, um, aside from his purple suit, um, I think the white suit is the second most popular outfit he's ever worn, ever. I know for sure he wore it in the animated series, or at least one of the Batman animated series. Um, so yeah, so overall, I think, I think it's pretty cool. Um, just kind of wish it was better quality. So yeah, now on to our next image. Okay, and yeah, the second image obviously is this one. Now before I begin actually giving my thoughts on this one, I literally just realized that I am wearing my Joker shirt. Like right here. So, yeah, I literally just noticed that. Um... So yeah, so here you could see obviously Joker here, Jared Leto as Joker. So yeah, there's mixed reviews about this, and honestly, I actually I actually love this photo. I actually do think it's a really great photo. Um, very quickly though, um, the fr the first time I saw this photo, the one thing I was thinking though, aside from the fact that damn he looks really cool, really psychotic, um, is the fact that he kind of looks like Marilyn Manson. I was literally that was literally my thought process that this kind of looks like Mar Marilyn Manson. And if Marilyn Manson could act, I think he'd be my second choice uh, to portray Joker. Because I'm not sure of Marilyn Manson. I don't, I'm not sure if he acts. I, don't, I, I mean, I know he does uh, a lot of great rock music. You know, Beautiful People. Um, yeah. Um, the Beautiful People. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Um, yeah, you know, Beautiful People and Sweet Dreams, among the other great songs. Um, but I'm pretty sure if Marilyn Manson could act, like if he has act, any acting abilities, um, he'd probably be... He would probably be my second choice, especially after this. Um, so, yeah, I, honestly, I think he does look great. Now, there are a few tattoos that I do question, um, such as the one on top of his head, which were, like, right there by his head, um, pur by his um, purple hands, mid and whatever. It says damaged. I mean, that one, I don't, I think out of any tattoo here, I think that one could be taken out. Um, so, yeah. I mean that the fact that it says damaged on his head, I don't really think that was needed. I think that was, I think if any any of the tattoos here are over the top or a little bit excessive, I think a damaged tattoo on on his forehead will be the one excessive, only one that is excessive. Mostly because we do know he is damaged. Um, he is psychotic. Um, so yeah, now we can we do know that 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 uh, he probably does have more tattoos as you, as you can tell on the side of his body. He has the letter S right there, and it seems like an S U. Maybe for Suicide Squad, I don't know. And then on the bottom, right by his belly, he, ha he seems to have some another type of tattoo. So yeah, um, the ha 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 is right there on his arms and ch um, left side of his chest, I believe. Um, I want to say left. Uh, le yeah, left side of his chest. Um, that looks pretty good. Um, I like how they kind of paid homage to you know his famous thing where he does you know write ha 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 all over the walls. Um. It's kind of funny that he does that now. Don't you know? It, um, I think logically, I don't think uh, Joker would want to sit on a tattoo chair and have ha 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 written down. If he's in the moment, I think he'd want to write it on the walls. But overall, I do like the fact that they kind of paid homage to that. Um, the the teeth thing right there on his arm, I think I thought that was pretty cool. And the court jester right there on the other side of his chest, I think that's pretty cool. Um, the grills and his now the grills and his um mouth. He has grills. That's interesting. That that is an interesting choice. Um. I'm down for it. I'm gonna be honest. I'm I'm actually down for it. Um, it is a bit weird, but then again, the Joker is weird. He's the Prince Clown of Darkness. Um, so yeah, and it's funny. Many people say that the tattoos make him look a bit, um very psychotic, and that they don't like that. I'm I'm just thinking that's a that's a 
that kind of contradictory because the Joker is psychotic, and then you're saying he's too psychotic, but you want him to be too psychotic. Yeah, you don't, you don't like the fact that he look, looks too psychotic. Um, it's just kind of dumb. So, over, I think I actually do dig um this new look. I uh, really the only thing I would change is maybe take off the damaged tattoo on his forehead, and yeah, and I do like they're using the green hair, um, the purple mitten, pretty interesting. Maybe we'll see him in his purple suit after all. I mean, the previous image, we saw him in a white suit. So, yeah. But here's the thing. Are we actually going to see all those tattoos? Let's be honest. Uh, many people are complaining about the tattoos, but let's be completely honest. How many? How often are we going to see um, Jared Leto shirtless? Let's be honest. How often are we actually going to see those tattoos? I, honestly, I don't think we're going to see the tattoos for more than, like, two or three scenes. Um, at most, we're going to see it for five scenes. At most, we'll see, we'll, we will see it for five scenes. I think, at minimum one scene, um, because I, I do imagine they're going to have to at least try for one scene to at least, you know, so that at least it makes it worthwhile. Um, I think at the very least one scene and at the very most five scenes tops. Um, I don't, if, I mean, honestly, I think if they do it more than five scenes, then it is a little bit showy. Um, and so yeah, and even after that, the Joker has had tattoos in the past. Um, he has this um, big ass dragon tattoo on his back and one of the comic books. So, you know, the fact that he has tattoos here is actually pretty good either way, regardless. So, over, I do like the, um, the fact that Jared Leto kind of looks like Marilyn Manson in this case. Um, yeah, hopefully in the soundtrack, hopefully in the... Okay, honest to God, if they have a Marilyn Manson song on the soundtrack, I'm going to lose my shit. Um, yeah. I think I think of, out of any artist that should be on the soundtrack, at least one Marilyn Manson song. Uh, maybe Tainted Love. Yeah. I think either Tainted Love, Sweet Dreams, or The Beautiful People, or This Is New Shit. One of those four songs, I think, would have to be on in that in that soundtrack if they go for Marilyn Manson. This Is The New Shit, Beautiful People, Sweet Dreams, and what was the other one? Tainted, yeah, Tainted Love. I think those four will make sense, especially coming out of Marilyn Manson. Uh, yeah. Maybe The Fight Song? Maybe The Fight Song? I don't know. For my white, maybe. Um, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm getting off topic. Or maybe um, I should know that song. I'm gonna go there. Um, whatever. I'm getting really off topic. Sorry. Um, so overall, really do like the new image. Um, yeah, I really do like it. Hopefully, now hopefully he could deliver. That's one thing. I really hope he could deliver. But I do have faith in him, especially after watching Dallas Buyers Club. Um, yeah, versatile actor. Um, as a whole. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts on it? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your thoughts on the Joker. Do you think, you know, what are your thoughts on Jared Little being the Joker? And since I was talking about the soundtrack earlier, what's, um, just off topic and an offshoot, um, uh, what songs do you wish or do you hope are going to be in the soundtrack? Um, I know it has really nothing to do with the with the image, but, you know, just since I was talking about earlier, um, you know, what songs do you hope are in the soundtrack? Do you think there's going to be a, at least one Marilyn Manson song in it? Comment all that down below. Let me know. I'm, I'm actually very interested to see what you guys, what you guys' thoughts are on that, um, now that I said it. And aside from that, you know, like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Um, and that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.